Hi guys, Wacker here. Um, I've started to play with FX a little bit more, so rather than just showing you how you can drop FX in, which is nice and easy, uh, I wanted to edit FX, so I was thinking, well, I go to the tools, and um, what have I got? I've got uh, an asset property editor, and I've got Radiant. And I'm thinking, well, I can't believe they'd leave out an FX editor, and they haven't. It's just not a separate program. Um, so rather than finding a separate program to launch within here like you would have done in COD World at War or in COD 4, um, they've built it into the editor basically which uh, makes life a lot easier. So um, we've already looked at the FX browser throwing FX in. Um, I wanted to play with some lighting so I'm still experimenting with this um, but I'll show you what I've done so far. Um, if we just come out of that design I have um, a lot of FX in my map already. Um, and if I select this one, uh, we can find it here. Or alternatively, if you want to jump to the FX you've been playing with, if I select this here, if I right click on it, I can select Focus Camera on Entity. And it'll take me to the entity in question. Um, so, we're playing with this one. Now, I've saved it in the debris, it's the wrong place, it should be in lights, but let's not worry about that right now. Um, I've given it a name, uh, in fact I'll re rewind a little bit. So I'm going to do something else. So we can, in the FX menu we can create a new FX. So we can create it in here and what you end up with is just this line here, so whatever you've called it. Uh, what you then need to do is uh, create the um, what you're going to do so whether it's a model or so on so if we go to uh, visuals you can select what type you're going to have now I'm currently looking at dynamic light but it could be all sorts model you could put you could throw a chair in there and have it rotate spinning around and think of poltergeist whatever you want to do you can do it but we'll come back to the light so I'm going to click on the eye here and there's a reason now so if I press F9 and if I unselect the FX in question, you notice how there's a cross through the eye, it's like an eye patch. If I start playing FX, there's no FX going here other than the other FX I've been messing around with over here. I've actually broken an FX, I must remember not to save that one. Uh, or I'm going to put it in, uh, yeah, broke it up there. Um, if I come back down to here, zoom out a bit, I'm going to show you what I'm doing with my light effects. So I'm going to tick this. And all of a sudden you can see what I'm doing with this light effects. Um, I'm going to unselect it. And we have a light that looks like it's flickering. Uh, and it is. It's flickering, but not only that, it's also moving. Uh, so if I select it, come to this angle we can see that I'm moving between a set amount of points so we come back to here the interval is set to 300 milliseconds so every three sec uh, every 300 of a second 3000 but yeah so every so often it's shunting along now if I made this something ridiculous it's going to kill the frame rate on my parole GPU so I'm going to make it 5 and it's going absolutely loopy I don't recommend this, but you'll see my FPS dropping, and my fans will soon start going mental and think, what are you doing? Um, all I'm trying to achieve here is for testing purposes. I want to have a light that I can move along a wall. At the moment I'm doing it across the floor, but my intention is, is I'm going to have a, uh, a bit of a lighting show going along across a wall, and I'm going to move a model with it as well. At the moment we're just moving the light. So we could add a new element. So if I add another element, so here I've got the light. Uh, we could then go through for a model. Uh, yeah, well, visuals. So we could start looking at bringing in the model into this. Um, I don't really want to go into this in too much detail. Um, I haven't given it a name and so on. So I'm going to delete this element. It's a really useful to know that you can actually block certain effects from running. So if you have a um, 
effects with lots of different elements. So take this dust effects. If I uh, drop one into here, so uh, dust wind MD. So I need to find that. Where is that going to be? It's probably going to be there. So dust wind MD sector. Let's drag this out. Three. So I'm going to bring dust wind sector three into here and drop it down. So there's a number of FX going on here. So if we get rid of the fine sand. Stop and start. Oh, that was a chair I put in earlier on. Now <laughs> you might have seen flying around. But you notice how I've got rid of some of the sand elements, so you can see a bit of sand going around and some of the um, black dots. You can basically add and take away as you're working on it. So if you want to look at what's happening with one particular element, just hide them. So we could probably do this and just have the pebbles. I've got hay fever if you wonder why it sounds a bit weirder than normal. Uh, it's not just because I have a weird voice. <laughs> I've really forgotten about that, that chair. <laughs> As you know, this is my test contract. So at the moment, all we have is some pebbles flying along. Um, as you make a more complex FX, you can add lots and lots of elements in. Uh, but you can do it all in here and you can turn them off and on as you go so you can see what's going on with each bit. It's a pretty clever tool. As I say, I'm still exploring the FX, um, but I thought I'd give you a quick little preview of what is going on here. Um, once I've got my swinging light sorted out, I will do a tutorial. Um, but I just wanted to throw it out there for something to look at. And uh, people have been asking me, how do you create FX? Well, there you go. And I really need to find out where I put that chair. Cause it's going crazy. Okay, that was it. It was just a short look at FX and um, how we can create FX within the editor. You don't need a separate tool anymore. Cheers, guys.